Right, everybody. So welcome into Market Measures. And today, we're just after all that talk on interest rates, we are looking at the impact of interest rates on option pricing. All right. So today's Market Measure, do interest rates really affect option pricing that much? Thank you, as always, to Sahil for preparing us a wonderful study. The impact of interest rates on option prices uh, and the three-month T-bill rate, as in the risk-free rate, uh, we call it the risk-free rate now. Whether we do for much longer, who knows? Uh, that has increased by 5% from almost 0% over the past, um, I think that's two years. The rate cut last month was the first in four years. All right, so we've basically, what we're saying is we've gone from 0 to 5%. So how does that interest rate impact our option prices on both sides? We rarely talk about this topic because the interest rate hasn't moved much in the past decade. Everybody became very uh, relaxed with interest rates being near zero, right? You didn't have to think about how much does it affect the, the futures price? How do we price it into a contango? But now we have to think about it again because of this huge move in the last couple of years. So after the rate cuts in the last month, the topic is more important than ever. The current risk-free rate is 4.5%. Uh, 4 now, holding all this equal, call option premiums generally rise when interest rates increase due to the higher cost of buying stock on margin, right? So remember, your, your, the cost to you of buying stock, of course, goes it up with the interest rate because you're borrowing that money. It is cheaper to purchase a call option than to purchase 100 shares, making it more attractive to buy calls when interest rates are high. On the other side, the put option premiums generally decrease when interest rates increase. I didn't know this before um, I read Sahil's study here. So this, this is a, a, one of real interest. For example, here we examine the extrinsic value of IBM's 45 day options when the underlying traded at the same price of 140 with the same implied vol level of 20%. So there you can see as rates go up from May 2015 up to where we are today, the at the money call, um, the price of the at money calls rises significantly, 10.8%. Conversely, the puts actually drop by 11%. So the cost of a put drops from 392 down through January 2020 down to 346 um, today. So we find that impact could be significant, plus or minus 10% on both sides with a 4.5% interest rate increase. So next, we also want to analyze how a 5% interest rate hike would impact option prices on different strikes, different expirations, and different implied volatilities. That's assuming that there is no skew. This time, we're using 20 delta out of the money options. Now, both put and call options of lower priced stocks are more sensitive to the interest rate change than expensive stocks. I didn't, intuitively, I did not see this one. So this, this is, is quite eye-opening because I didn't think that there would be a difference in the sensitivity depending on what the stock price was. So let's dive into that. On a 45 day to expiry, 20% implied vol, the call price change for a low stock was 15%, whereas it was only 12 for those of higher prices. And the exact reverse on the puts as well, dropping from 15% down to 12.2. Now, what about longer term versus shorter term? Well, the shorter duration calls change by less than the longer duration calls. That is a bit more intuitive. And the um, that also uh, the equivalent drop in puts as well. So it's only down 12% after 30 days, but 60 day expiration, it's down 15.9. 
Finally, the interest rate change impacts lower implied vol stocks much more significantly than higher vol stocks. The IV test has the most change out of everything, right? So if you're looking at just an implied vol um, cost, then interest rates are much more important in the pricing. Whereas on the higher vol, then of course it is um, much more about the actual volatility rather than the interest rates. So you can see it's a 10% difference there on both sides. What is the takeaway from this? Well, when the interest rate is low, it has a minuscule impact on option prices. However, a large interest rate jump or fall can significantly impact the option prices. Options with the low stock price, low IV level and long expiration cycle tend to be more sensitive to interest rate changes. And that is market measures for the week. Thank you.